Hi, this is Brian from Mundo Cerveja, once again here making videos for home brewing. Uh, I made a video a while back, unfortunately in Portuguese, about uh, an equipment, a piece of equipment from Full Gauge that uh, allows you to control your temperature in your fermenter. Well, I also mentioned in that video that I bought that equipment because it would I could buy another piece of equipment that would allow me to export data to a computer to see graphs about uh, temperature, energy use, and all that sort of thing. Well, a long time afterwards, the 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 manufacturer contacted me via YouTube and asked me if they could use the video for for their promotional stuff, and I said sure. And then he asked me if I'd actually bought that other piece of equipment, and I said, no, and he sent it to me. So I'm going to talk about that equipment and about the, the software that comes with it. You can download and how to set it up and all that. So, first of all, thanks Full Gauge. Man, I, I would have sold my car if I had found out that uh, this, stuff, this program would do all that it does. It's just, it's just incredible. You know, we'll do the unboxing here in a minute, and all right, let's go. Okay, so this is the, the box that comes. This is the product itself. Let's have a look at that. Okay. So it's, it's relatively simple from the user's point of view. I mean, there's only the USB port the two ports where the, the two slots where the wire coming in from the RS-485 network comes in and the screws that to tighten them down and that's really it it's really there's a mounting mounting screws in the back the name of the name is the of course the Con V32 this piece of equipment here came with the, the controller the, the temperature controller it's to connect everything up to the the network. The temperature control of course being this here. Okay, let's see what we get in the box here. Along with this, which I've already taken out. It comes with the USB cable, so you don't need to worry about that. You got a tiny little disc with the uh, not in here, but a tiny little disc with the program that you're going to install on your computer, CTRAD. This uh, this can also be downloaded from the internet, so you know always look on the internet for a newer copy. Instruction booklet on on how to get everything connect, connected up, and that of course is it, this and everything else is in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. A uh, little advertisement there. Terms of guarantee. Uh, this is to help uh, identify the the equipment when it's on the network. We'll, we'll see that in a little bit. And of course, this big user manual for the CTRAD. Of course, it's in three languages again: English, Spanish, Portuguese. If uh, it's pretty straightforward. I, I read a little bit of the manual, but didn't really have to for my needs anyway. If you have something more complex, you know, you'll probably need something more. But okay, that's about it for that. Okay, great. And of course, a big sticker. Okay, so this is a, a basic uh, topology map of of what your network would look like. The network in this case, it, it isn't Ethernet, it's, or RS-232 or anything else, RS-485, which is a, a manufacturing automation uh, standard. We have the computer on one side, and we have the, this new equipment, the Conv32. Between those two is the USB cable that you received with the, with the Conv32. From there, it forms a... a a network here and each each piece of equipment is going to connect to that via this this tiny little network uh, connector doohickey <laughs> and each one will come with that so you don't need to worry about that 
This is a blow up of that. And you can see they're actually A, B, and ground. A, B, ground, A, B, ground. This is the network. This is the equipment. So on the equipment, there are also two little two holes here that, with, that are marked A and B. You simply connect A to A, B to B. On the network, A to A, B to B. This isn't rocket science. Really easy to set up. So here we have the USB cable. What cable do we use here? I, I don't know if it's right or not. You can leave comments there. But I, I just took a, an Ethernet cable and ripped out one of the the pairs that they have in there. Just use that. It, it worked like a dream. Really fast to them. There's no, no problem with it. I believe you can connect via the standard RS-485. I believe you can connect uh, up to 256 uh, controllers, but I'm not sure if this equipment will handle it or not. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay? Thanks. Uh, bye. I mean, let's go. Okay, so I just want to talk just a minute about uh, RS-485. RS-485 is, is an electrical standard uh, basically in how to, how to create a multi-point uh, network. It's it's not as fast as Ethernet. And it, Ethernet would be like uh, what 802.5 in the standard as such. Ethernet you're going to get up to gigabyte, uh, 10, 100 gig. It'll be even higher than that pretty soon. Uh, but the advantage, and uh, there's probably advantages as far as uh, industry is concerned too, as far as error correction and such with RS-485. But look, you can get up to up to 10 meters away. You can get 35 megabits, which is not you know it's a third of Ethernet, but it's still quite a bit for you know how much data do, do these machines uh, produce? In our case, it's almost nothing. It's like 10 bytes a second or something. But look at this. The, the really interesting thing here that at 1,200 meters you can get up to a uh, 100k, 100k, not 100 meg which is uh, way less than, than Ethernet, but again, you don't have that much data, and look how far that is, man. 1,200 meters. You know, Ethernet, you're gonna, Ethernet, you're gonna get the most out of, uh, like, you know, 90 to 100. So the distance is, is enormous. If, you know, in my case, as a home brewer, I'm here with just one, one, uh, one piece of equipment connected, but if you have more than that, if it gets a little bit more complex, you're going to have to look into this uh, terminate, terminating resistor also to make sure that the termination is there and it doesn't the signal doesn't reflect back onto itself. And also the ground, as as I said, I'm only using uh, the two wires A and B. There is a ground, which for the same purposes you're going to have to use if you have more than one equipment and such because the, all the signals are compared to the the signal that's on that wire. And if that wire is not there, then everybody transmits. Uh, it's going to end up a bunch of scrambled eggs there for you. So if you have more than one, yeah, look into it. Talk to, Look it up on the internet. I'm sure you can find uh, what you need there. One hint here, too. If you have, if you're in a, in a store or something or in an industry and you, you have uh, Ethernet cables going from your computer where you want the, the, the full gauge uh, controller installed out to, an, out to an, a piece of equipment, you know, in Ethernet, there are actually four pairs, and you only use two of them. So you can actually, through your patch panel or whatever, you can kind of, on this side, connect it to two in the middle of, of those four pair, and on the other end, pull them out from that, that, and it should work just fine, too. So you don't have to send new cable down the line if, you're, if you already have something in place. Okay? Now we're going to get into the temperature controller here and see how to, to configure it. I'm going to press these two outside buttons here, get us into the fun mode. The setting, the, the function setting is 35, which is the very last one. So I'll just go backwards there. When we click this then to... So what you're looking at there is the network address of this particular piece of equipment. And if you only have one, you don't need to do anything. If you just if you're going to be like me, a home brewer, you've only got one piece of equipment you're going to connect to it. Just you don't need to deal with this whatsoever, okay? 
The problem comes when you, when you pick up the, the second piece of equipment because the default is one. So the system is going to look at everybody as the same machine. So you'd have to come in here and change this to any number that's not one. It doesn't matter what the number, just as long as it's not one. So, that, I mean, that's basically it. it. It just, you need to alter, alter that only if you have more than one piece of equipment. So, I'll end this video here. Uh, so, that's all you need to know about the setup and such. It's really easy. You'll have a, a, an okay time with it. In the next video, we'll talk about the software and how to integrate the equipment then with the software. See ya. Thank you.